Once a jolly swagman camped by a billabong Under the shade of a coolabar tree He sang as he watched and waited till his billy boiled You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me Yeah, g'day guys, it's Shani with the Backyard Bushman channel And I wanted to do a video today on finding north using your watch face and the sun um, I actually tried to demonstrate this on a prior video, I just recorded, it turned out horrible, I got too much wind, I got too much noise, you know, I'm turning around with the back of the camera, so we're just going to sit on the couch here guys, and uh, I'm going to show you how this is done, um, it's a tried and true method, um, I find it quite amusing myself that it even works, so, uh, but once you watch this video guys, I'll try to be very, very straightforward and simple with the instructions, I want you to go outside when you get some sunshine and try this of course. Now the thing is, you've probably seen this on TV, you've probably heard about it and whatnot. And people will tell you, you can get a watch face and you can figure out where north is just by, uh, you know, pointing whatever it is on the watch at the sun and whatnot. And that method uses an analog watch face, but what most people don't realize and what me, most people don't tell you is, of course, you can do it with a digital watch. Now, I've got my watch here, okay, and it's just the cheapo, you know, $2 watch that tells time. It's all I need it for. Um, and the reason I can do this with a digital watch is because it has a compass built. Not joking. Anyways, um... Now, you look at a digital watch, and it's around like any other watch, and you've seen enough analog watches, or you've watched the, the, the clock on the school, classroom, wall, whatever it is, you know where the hours are on this watch face. So all you have to do with this watch is picture where the hands would be. All right? So right now, we're looking at, we're coming up on 5 o'clock, and we know that 6 is directly at the bottom, so 5 is going to be right over there somewhere. Okay? Now, the trick to this method is, guys, um, and like I said, I'd love to demonstrate it, wasn't working out trying to do the solo. Maybe if I had somebody else to help me, but that's not the case today. Um, what you want to do is, first of all, I'm going to cover the northern hemisphere. Okay, so you're north of the equator. You want to hold your watch parallel with the ground. Okay, horizontal, just on your wrist. You don't have to take her off. Okay, and you want to rotate so that from the center of the watch, so the hour hand, just like the hand would be, okay, is pointing directly at the sun in the sky. Okay. So you just turn your body so you face in that direction, okay? You can turn the watch if you like. I find it simply just to turn my body. It saves me reaching around and messing it up, okay? Now, once you have your hour hand pointed at the sun in a straight line of where she's at, you want to divide the face between that and the 12 o'clock position, okay? Shortest way around the watch. It's not left, it's not right. It's just the shortest way. So between 5, okay, and 12 o'clock on this watch, of course, would be right around... 2.30, okay? You wouldn't be at 3 o'clock, you'd be just around 2.30, okay? Um, and just remember, this is general general direction finding. This isn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it is going to point you in the right direction, so around 2.30, okay? So you're holding your watch flat with the ground, you've got 2.30 pointed off over there somewhere, all right? On the northern hemisphere, once you've established that direction, being halfway between the hour hand, which is pointed at the sun, and the 12 o'clock position, okay? That direction that you've just established is now south, okay? That is pointing in a southerly direction. So all you have to do is throw a 180, look straight over your shoulder, there's your north, okay? So I'd really like for you guys in the northern hemisphere to go outside and try that. Take your compass with you, give that a shot, and you'll see that you are pretty much dead on with that compass as long as you don't, you know, cross your feet up and everything else. Now, if you are in the southern hemisphere, okay, you're south of the equator, you're back down home for, you know, in Australia, whatever the case might be, it's actually simpler down there, okay? Um, so this is a shout out to Farring Law. I want you to get out there and try that, and I want you to do a video response, show me that this works south of the equator there. All you're going to do is get your watch again, you're going to hold it parallel with the ground, okay? And you're going to point the 12 o'clock position at the sun. Ignore the hour hand for now, but you want to get that 12 o'clock position that you on your watch and point it directly at the sun. Now, once you've got that down, okay, you're going to divide the watch face between the 12 o'clock position and where the hour hand currently is. So again, we're coming up on 5 o'clock, we know where to be here, and roughly it would be at 2.30 again, okay? Um, now, once you have that established position, halfway between 12, which is pointed at the sun, halfway between the hour, okay, that is your northern direction. It's not south, you don't have to turn around, okay? You are pointed north once you've established that direction, okay? So it's even simpler in the southern hemisphere, and that's because down south kicks butt, what can I say? <laughs> uh, but at any rate, guys, one tip that you do need to know, though, is if you're on daylight savings time, okay, 12 o'clock's not going to work for you, uh, because you've bumped your clock forward. So when that's the case, rather than using the 12 o'clock point on your watch, you want to alternate with 1 o'clock, okay? So the northern hemisphere, 
one o'clock is where you're going to divide in between that and where you point it. Southern Hemisphere, you're going to point your one o'clock at the sun and follow the same steps, okay? So guys, uh, it's pretty simple. Like I said, the demonstration video didn't work out so great, so I'd really like it if you guys would get out there, try this out, uh, post a video response. Let me, uh, let me see you doing this in action. Um, I think it's pretty cool, actually. You know, I carry a compass on my ADC, but just knowing that regardless, if I know what the time is, and I mean, geez, if, you can, if you've got a good guesstimation, at least, of what the time is by the sun in the sky, all right, um, and then you can just visualize or even get a stick and draw a clock face on the ground, you know, you can figure out where you know what this. Um, there's other easier ways to orient here. We know where the sun rises, where it sets, and all that hooey, but this will give you a much more refined general direction for where north is, and once you've got that, of course, you've got your other directions you might want to be headed in. So, for today, guys, this has been Shane with the Backyard Bushman Channel. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Again, get out, try it, uh, give me your comments, send me any questions. I know this one could be a little muddled to explain, but once you know how to do it, super simple, guys. Um, so, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Uh, please subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Have a good one. You come a waltzing, Matilda.